Yes, tis I, Petus Gluteus Maximus. As the sun rises over the horizon, casting its golden light upon the battlefield, know this, my warriors, today we stand on the threshold of greatness. With our hearts steeled and spirits unyielding, we march forth to meet our destiny. We are the guardians of Rome, sentinels of honor, and the embodiment of courage. Let each sword be a beacon of justice, each shield a bastion of strength. For we do not fight for glory and conquest alone, but for our very survival of the beloved empire. So rally, my comrades. Rally to the call of duty, for today we shall carve out our names in the annals of history with the blood of our enemies. Yeah, all right, I know it was a bit dramatic, but yeah, God, what a week. Up, down, up, down. And starting with this, I was nearly traumatised when I woke up and looked out the window and jumped off the boat with the dog. What a bloody shock. I'm not sure if there's an apocalypse, Drew, but... It's warm and sunny in Manchester. I've got a t-shirt on. What is going on? I'm freaking out. Send help. Oh, can you? Every walk, too busy sniffing for rubbish. Stop every two yards. Look. Nightmare. Dog, oh, damn it. What did you just eat then? Caught here as well. Bloody missed that. Here it's turned, you little sod. Wait, stop eating stuff. Desperate car toilet and he's barely weird. Unreal. Look at that, the sun is actually out. Stand amazed. So after we got back from the walk, Parsley is lying down again because he loves to lie down. One thing is, I've actually taken a job where I'll be at the central, what's it called, Manchester Central Convention Centre or something like that. Somewhere that I applied for a job as a, as an actual staff member recently uh, in, in my leaving the Midland period. Never heard from them. But here I am going back as a manager to run this event. Uh, more expense to them. You know. We don't want you, but I'm going to go as a manager. That's how it works. Weird, weird old industry, this. The other thing is, Parsley might be famous. Now, we know, if you watched my vlogs a while back, he was trained in Northampton as a puppy by a guy called Graham, who's currently on TV. Uh, I think the programme is called Dogs Behaving Very Badly. Funny thing about that is, I thought, yeah, email them. Tell them about Parsley's issues with people and things. They've only got to phone me today. So there's every chance that once I've sent him some videos of, re of his reactions, what he's doing, he will end up on TV. And uh, maybe they'll actually be able to sort him out so I can le let him off the lead and he won't uh, react badly to people, all the rest of it. Fingers crossed, because he, he's a guy that I know. So I'll let you know. And there's going to be some big dramatic life changes coming on over the next few weeks and months. It just depends on how things go in. So where well, I've got no boat movement, uh, it's going to get pretty dramatic all of a sudden. I haven't applied for any jobs in Manchester at this point. I'm just, you know, I've had those ones I last went for interviews for and applied, and the ones I rejected. Other things are afoot. So watch this space. The build work will continue. We're going to do little bits. He's busy, so I might have to just dig out my tools and start doing a lot more of the actual build stuff myself just to get it moving and then i immediately did bugger the original wall stuff so this is nothing wrong with it it's just a bit sort of 90s really this marble effect i've got these green tiles to go over that so i just need this for the waterproofing factor so what i've done is retained the old stuff so the old stuff that came off it is on the roof so what i'm going to do is basically now bring those sheets in and try and do this wall basically and the wall down by the window so that mean you've got some waterproofing going on tiles over the top got plenty of silicon neighbors uh, gave me a couple of tubes there just in case the one i had was completely gone um so then it is that waterproof top we just got to then try and obviously drop the shower tray a bit there's not even dropping the shower tray it's only the the drainage part that needs to go down in the floor a little bit that's it so realistically uh, i'm just going to box this off 
remove the old sink and the cabinet and then just put that on myself. I need to get this going because all of a sudden it's become a question of it's nearly seven months I've moved on it. A lot more should have been done than the, the bigger stuff. Time has become of the essence, which wasn't expected. So I really need to get at least these big jobs done. So everything else is just little decorating bits. So I'm going to get on with it before it gets too late. <laughs> Hand sore in that. Oh, it's only a thin board, but it's a pain in the bum. It took ages. Yeah, didn't sleep well last night again. Bags under the eyes. Wish me luck. But in between the uh, the cutting up, can we just have a moment to appreciate these William Morris seaweed design cushions? You just don't get designs like this anymore, do you? They're still using them. Very popular. Look at that vibrant. And to think everyone says the Victorians were drab. It's not necessarily the case. So, do you know what? It's just millimetres off from being like an exact fit. If I trim that corner down, slide it over, I can probably do that in one panel and just do a triangular panel there. So like I say, it's all be sealed underneath with this wonderful stuff. Sick effect there. Can't say it's sick... Oh, Sikaflex. Apparently it's uh, immense. So very waterproof, very flexible. It should do the job. And then we're going to just try and at least get this panel in there and see what that's like now. Do I have so much stuff everywhere. I am struggling to move around this boat. As you can see, to the left, on the bed, piles of clothes, a door, just stuff. One thing you can say, if nothing else about me, I'm bloody persistent. It's at this point, I hope a joiner that I might know feels it in his heart that he might come back just to do at least my sink and pumps soon. Please. it's not pretty but just wait wait a minute there'll be reason behind the madness now many people doubt the things i do and this is one of those moments now this goes back to renovation i like to recycle things if i can bathroom paneling cut it with a stanley knife it'll snap done it, if there's enough here i think just to redo this bathroom segment I don't want to waste so much more money. Money is tight, not working, you know, here and there shifts. Don't want to be spending a fortune. But it's not what I'm doing here now, and I've done worse than this, believe me. It's the end result that counts. So what it will look like after this is what matters. So bear with it. I guarantee you this will look great when, when it's done. <laughs> it will, whether that will be in this video or the next, You'll see this little cubicle, it's a tiny little area I've got now. It's actually not tiny when you think about it. There's here to here, it's a fair bit of space. I could fit right in and, you know, this cupboard here. I hate this cupboard, I always hate it. It will be gone. So I will have the new corner sink where this one is. And the toilet, it will be a situation of, you know, porta potty. If you need to shower, pull it out. If not, it, it just fits in here quite well either way. So... I can leave it in there generally. Just take it out to go shower. You're right. What time is it? I think it's 7, 7.30. I think food time. So the producers asked me to do an experiment for his bad behaviour to show what it's like. And here we go. There we go. See, wagging tail, happy, was thinking about it. Now he's just gone off on one. And that's why you have to wear your little... Jewelry. <laughs> I asked them because, to be fair, he has met them okay. a few times and he would be less wary of them. Yeah. He's still a bit, as Sometimes you can see, not the best reaction. A stranger or somebody else could have ended up worse, but he's getting a lot better up, with these guys. He seems very nervous. Let's get zoomed back, yeah. 
Naughty Parsley fans, he's not so cute and innocent all the time. This is what I have to deal with. Parsley, no. Good boy. Yeah, he's like, oh, I... It's very rare that anyone can get this close to, know, to him that doesn't know him very, a couple very well. Of times, so he's not as bad as a complete stranger. He's also a renowned drinks thief. What are you doing, P? What are you doing? He's off. <laughs> you don't like the water, my friend. You know that. <laughs> Tries to take, try to take him swimming as a puppy. Would not go in. What are you doing, Parsley? P? Yeah, he's calmed down a bit. Parsley, what's this? Hello. Attention. What's this? Come here. Okay. Sit down. Good boy. Yeah, so this is not an occurrence that's that's normal. But then again, if someone's offering him snacks, he'll calm down. <laughs> he won't let us go from there. Look at that, look. <laughs> In your eyes, Parsley, near stranger, and you're drinking their yeah. tea. Look, yeah. he's like, no, they've let me have stuff. I'm good. <laughs> it's <laughs> just mouth. You are is just... there a drop there? Yeah. Get... It's because of his muzzle as well. Don't take my... He's eating my boat. <laughs> what are you doing? I think you're a he. You a he? Hello. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I haven't, I haven't got anything. Cause, like... Yeah, here he is. He, she, not totally sure. Like eating the side of my boat. There's obviously bits growing on it. You're interested in. A fair old while since this one's visited me, and alone. Where's the other one? Somewhere out there. Alright, see you later then. Here he is, swan eating the side of my boat. Going somewhere else. See you later. Well, that's it for me. I'm hopping off. Got to persevere doing all this build work without the appropriate tools to do it can't buy them just for these couple of jobs what a waste of money that would be wish me luck watch out for the next one i'll give you an end resolve